Because it's both really high and I'm not very familiar with the melody yet. It is what it is. <laughs> I, I can reach all the notes though. If I fall, if I, if I, if I fall set away. some Dendro Geo interactions. I think it's the kind of stuff that a lot of people that are asking for it don't really understand what they're asking for, right? I don't think it would inherently be a problem to add a Dendro Geo interaction, but I also don't see the lack of an interaction as a problem either, right? Like, the lack of elemental interactions can sometimes be just as much a factor on elemental interactions as an actual coded elemental interaction, right? For example, the fact that Cryo and Dendro can coexist on enemies without triggering reactions enables a lot of burn meld setups to function a lot better, right? It's probably the best example of it, right? And, and sometimes, a lack of interaction is not a bad thing. And then on top of that, there's the fact that Geo, as a whole, in my opinion, shouldn't focus on reactions. Right? Because, yes, elemental reactions are a big part of the combat, right? Of course they are. But they're not the only part of the combat, and some characters, by design, care more about other parts of the combat. And I think it's completely fine for there to be an element that's meant to be more inert, more not reacting, and rather more focused on the other parts of the combat, right? And if it's going to be any of the elements, it should be the rock element, right? And so I don't really have an issue with Geo not having many, many different reactions or even interesting reactions at all. I think that it's, I can understand how it can be boring for someone who would, who just likes experiencing more things, right? It's both relatively... Like, lore accurate? And like relevant and just kind of interesting in its own way i like earth across pretty much every fantasy setting is inert unchanging stable right like that that's really what earth is all about so geo as an element being less about the reactions and rather staying within geo and doing all you can with the geo element I think is thematically very appropriate. Do I think they're doing it well? Not really, mainly because they don't release enough Geo units, right? We've gotten, out of the out of the recent Geo unit releases, there's one that's not meant to work with other Geo units, right? And other than that, right? We got like one, two, three, four, Five, six. I mean, we got 30 characters in a row that were not Geo. Right? <clears throat> like, obviously, if you want it to be inert and to function without really looking at the reactions too much, well, you need to, you know, instead of 
having players rely on using the usual supports that are reaction focused, you need to give them non-reaction focused alternatives, right? <clears throat> you need to give them other options. And if you're going to spend two years without releasing a Geo unit, that's not going to help. Yeah, exactly, Igor. I think Geo should have more characters than any other element. Right? If, if they want that inert, unchanging identity of Geo to work, they need to make more Geo characters than any other element. Or, give us non-Geo characters that don't really apply their element and, and, and help the team in different ways, right? So, un unironically, for example, Bennett is a good example of a character that thematically can function in Geo teams, right? He applies his element once or twice per rotation, basically. And he's all about the other things that he does, the other ways that he contributes to the combat system outside of directly reactions. Yeah, he also has ways he can interact with the with the reaction systems, with the self-elemental application, with a C6, or if you use him as an on-fielder in spam E. But if you are to use him like in a non-reaction team, Bennett still does a lot of things, right? But Bennett doesn't synergize that well with Geo units because so many of the Geo units scale with defense. And he's an attack buffer. If we got a cryo version of Bennett that buffed defense by the a similar like amount balance wise as Bennett buffs attack and then maybe gave some attack speed or just any any other interesting stat whatever cool you would use that in geo teams and that could be really interesting without relying on reactions Goro doesn't count Goro does count but he's only one option right there's only one Goro there are no other characters that there's only one buffer for Geo teams, right? But like, give us a unit similar to Bennett that buffs defense based on their own defense, but instead of base defense, it's total defense, and give them a self crit rate buff based on their defense so that they still get a decent crit ratio even if they're building full defense, and give them a big hit on their burst, right? So you end up using them in a Goro team, in, in a Geo team, and they still do a nice chunk of damage, but it's not about the reactions, it's just about the way they interact with the other units directly, outside of the reaction system, right? But that's a, the sort of stuff that they could do. The sort of stuff I'd like to see. How does one deal with things those 21 second cooldown? It's so cringe to wait for 2-3 to three seconds with nothing to do. It depends. Uh, if you're waiting 2-3 to three seconds, you're probably using Sack. Sack will extend your rotations because now instead of using your E and it going on cooldown, use your E and then use another E and then it goes on cooldown. So there's like about uh, one and a half to two seconds additional time between when your cooldown is over and you can use your first E and when your cooldown starts again, right? And then that's going to be two to three seconds because otherwise his burst is a 20 second cooldown anyways, so it should only be one second, right? If you want to alleviate that, run him on 5. If you want to alleviate that even more in a team that isn't too reliant on his personal damage, like for example, if you have a C1R1 Hu Tao, you can give him Sack and build a lot of ER on him and only use one E per rotation. That way you're not gated by his, uh, by his E cooldown anymore, and you can do 20 second rotations thanks to his burst. How much damage percent is too much damage percent? Is there an ideal ratio of total attacks, your attack after all attack buffs to damage percent, like there is with crit rate for damage? Um, there's never going to be a ratio of total attack to damage percent, because attack scaling is based on your base attack. Now, there can be an ideal ratio for, um, your total attack Div or your bonus attack divided by your base attack to your damage percent, and that's one to one, right? So, if this green number were 900, right? 900 plus 900 with 1800 attack, it would be the equivalent of 100% attack. 
animal damage. Obviously, Chen is not a good example for this, because, yeah. But, but, yeah. And that's right here, 1374, to, so it's about 130%. He's getting 60% plus 95%. And so at this point, uh, if I'm playing him without Tianyin, attack buffs actually do more than damage buffs do. 